Hey Pranav, have you ever thought about the issue of child marriage? It's quite prevalent in many parts of the world, and I find it deeply concerning. Absolutely, deeply. It's a serious problem that affects so many young lives. The fact that children are forced into such commitments is heartbreaking. True. I was reading about it recently, and the statistics are alarming. Millions of girls, and even boys, are married off before they turn 18. It's not just a violation of their basic human rights, but also has long-term consequences. Right. I think it's not just about the legal age of marriage, but the whole context surrounding child marriage. Poverty, lack of education, and cultural norms play a significant role in perpetuating this practice. Absolutely. Poverty seems to be a driving force, with families often marrying off their children due to economic hardship. It's heartbreaking to see how these children are robbed of their childhood and education. And the cycle continues, deeply. Child brides are more likely to experience domestic violence, have poor health outcomes, and their children are at a higher risk of malnutrition and infant mortality. It's like a vicious cycle, indeed. I wonder what can be done to break it. Education seems to be a key factor. When girls are educated, they tend to marry later and make more informed choices. Education is crucial, deeply. It empowers individuals and communities. Governments and NGOs can work towards improving access to quality education, especially for girls, to tackle child marriage. True, but I also think there needs to be a shift in cultural attitudes and norms. Community leaders and influencers can play a significant role in challenging traditional beliefs that support child marriage. Definitely. Sensitizing communities and promoting awareness about the negative consequences of child marriage is essential. It's not just a legal issue. It's a societal problem that requires a holistic approach. Changing mindsets is often a slow process, but it's necessary. I've read about successful initiatives in some countries where community leaders actively engage with families to discourage child marriage. That's promising to hear. It shows that change is possible when there's a concerted effort. Governments, NGOs, and the international community need to collaborate to create policies and programs that address the root causes of child marriage. And we, as individuals, can contribute by raising awareness and supporting organizations working towards eradicating child marriage. It's an issue that affects us all, and everyone has a role to play. Absolutely, deeply. It's a conversation that needs to be ongoing, and the more people are aware of the consequences and the potential solutions, the closer we get to making a real impact. I completely agree, Pranav. Let's hope that, over time, we see a significant reduction in child marriages and a better future for these young lives. Hey Pranav, have you ever wondered about twins and the fascinating world of having two babies at once? Oh, absolutely. Twins are a unique and intriguing phenomenon. The idea of two babies growing and developing simultaneously in the womb is just mind-boggling. How do you think it all happens? Right? It's incredible how nature works. Twins can either be identical or fraternal. Identical twins, or monozygotic twins, result from a single fertilized egg splitting into two embryos. On the other hand, fraternal twins, or dizygotic twins, develop from two separate eggs fertilized by two different sperm. That's fascinating. The fact that identical twins share almost 100% of their genetic material is mind-blowing. Do you know if there are any specific factors that increase the chances of having twins? Absolutely. Genetics plays a significant role. If there are twins in your family, especially on the mother's side, the likelihood of having twins increases. Additionally, age can influence it. Women in their 30s and 40s are more likely to release more than one egg during ovulation. Ah, that makes sense. I've also heard that certain ethnicities have a higher incidence of twins. And there's this old wife's tale that says if you eat yams, you might have twins. Ha ha, yes. The yam theory is interesting although not scientifically proven. Some studies suggest that a diet rich in certain nutrients may increase the likelihood of conceiving twins, but it's not a guarantee. True. But imagine the joy of finding out you're going to have twins. It must be an exciting but challenging journey for parents. Absolutely. 
Parents of twins often talk about the unique bond between the siblings. They share a womb, and sometimes that connection continues after birth. I've read that some twins even develop their own language, known as cryptophagia. Wow, that's incredible. I guess spending so much time together from the beginning really strengthens their connection. How about the challenges of raising twins? It must be quite demanding. Definitely. While it's undoubtedly a joyous experience, the challenges are real. The demands on parents' time and energy are doubled, from feeding and changing diapers to getting them on the same sleep schedule. But many parents of twins say it's all worth it. I can imagine. It's probably a roller coaster of emotions. But the bond between twins must be something truly special. Absolutely. The way they support each other through life, having a constant companion who understands you so deeply, it's heartwarming. And witnessing their unique personalities develop is a journey in itself. It sounds like an incredible adventure. Thanks for sharing all this fascinating information, Deepthi. Twins are indeed a marvel of nature. My pleasure, Pranav. Twins are a topic that never ceases to amaze me. If you ever meet twins or become a parent of twins, you'll get to experience the magic firsthand.